I teach the introductory statistics course here at the Hochschule der Bayerischen Wirtschaft. And here we learn all the basic statistical fundamentals which are used in statistical process control, one of the most widely used methods of controlling quality in production. So for example, if we are working in a factory where we make tables, and each of our tables should be 70 centimeters in length, how do we control our production? Because we can't expect every one of our tables to be exactly 70 centimeters. We expect them to be distributed very closely around 70 centimeters with a small but allowable variation. Well, first we've learned in our course that our tabletop length is a random variable. And this random variable follows a probability distribution. We also learned that if we decide every day to take a sample of five tables from our production, we'll measure the length for every one of those five tables and we'll take the sample average. We've learned that the sample average will follow a normal distribution or the bell-shaped distribution that was discovered by Mr. Gauss. And we have the nice property of the normal distribution that you can set up limits around the mean value, in our case, 70 centimeters. You can set an upper and a lower control limit so that 99.7% of our distribution of our random variable, so our tabletop length, will fall within these two control limits. So what this means, every day we go in we measure five tables, we take the sample average, and we plot that sample average on a control chart. If that sample average is above or below the, lower, the upper and lower spec limits, then we stop the line and we look for an assignable cause. We know that there has been maybe a problem with the line, one of the machines has malfunctioned, there's been a problem with the process. And this is how we then control the quality of our production, or in our case, the quality of our tabletops.